Hello, hello and welcome back to another video on this one month game dev challenge. In this video we want to create some yeah, more beautiful assets and yeah, pimp these assets we got here. For example, creating particles and some lighting on this little treasure chest. And so let's not waste any time and dive right into it. I just create a new object uh, as a child object from the treasure chest and name it um, yeah, particles. Then I want to make sure that these particles are kind of stars, I think. Stars are pretty cool, um, in my opinion. So let's uh, just see if I got any stars in my sprite folder. Mm, where it is? There it is. Um, but it doesn't seem like it. So we're just importing some, some uh, star sprites. There we go. There we got this star and just creating a sprite out of it and then make sure that we create a material from that um, saying okay this is a material called um, yeah, treasure particle and with this treasure particle I'll just say okay the star should be the base map for that and I want it to be of course I want it to be transparent but is the star transparent yes it is um, so this can be transparent also. So it's alpha, nice, and it should not be smooth. So we can just go back to our uh, particles. Um, oh, I think we do not want to make this um, lit. So we make this um, particles unlit. And I think this should do, I think. Um, yeah, then we just drag and drop this right here and let's see if this is looking good yeah right now it is looking good and also the color is working nice so we just uh, create the start color which should be anything random between this yellow and this orange i think and this can make it a bit more yeah looking a bit shiny and a bit special mm, and also I want to uh, yeah change the speed of that uh, these uh, particles something like uh, zero dot one and zero dot two and for that also <laughs> we want to reduce the start size of it so let's just uh, have anything between zero dot one and zero dot two is this good yeah seems so. Um, and um, yeah we want to have the color over lifetime this should be um, yeah, pretty interesting because we want to have it fade in and fade out so this is the easiest way to do it we just create um, some key points on this uh, yeah, gradient editor and there you see that this is working and they are they are uh, yeah just getting spawned and then fade in and then fade out but in my taste it's a bit too much um or too fast so you might want to think about yeah i don't know or something like oh uh, i don't know uh uh smaller smaller start speed uh, to make it a bit more yeah I don't know a bit more static I don't know <laughs> to be honest how I should describe this mm, yeah so we also can now create a bigger radius times 0 0.5 yeah I think this can look good let's make the radius a bit smaller if the radius is a bit smaller we can also create a bigger angle for that and make this whole thing a bit more yeah a bit more stronger and then i think it's also not that um, bad if we have more of these stars yeah there we go and then i think also 
the lifetime can be a bit longer. Does this look good? I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. Um, let's see if a box can do better. Yeah, honestly, this looks better. Yeah, this, this looks much better. So I think I'll take this. Um, and I also want to keep uh, the size not the same over the lifetime. So I'll just want to make sure that it's popping out and then getting smaller with the time. Yeah, there we go. I think this can look pretty cool um, and also now I want to create some point light this is oh this is too much uh, or too big um, I think this is the way we can use it um, yeah so let's see if this is working or if the light is not um, yeah, affecting its environment it would be great if it's working right away but as you see, it's it maybe is working if we want to reduce the directional light. So let's say this is, um, let's say we got no light in here, but we have the skybox. Um, so let's do it with a zero. And with a zero, it kind of looks cool, to be honest. Um, but I think we need to um okay this kind of looks cool mm, but we need to make it a bit yeah a bit more over the top of the of the box or in the front Uh, but I think this is too obvious. Uh, maybe this. Yeah, I, th I, I like this. I like this really, really good. So let's just copy and paste this uh, yeah, word transform of the point light. Mm, and then we want to make sure that we uh, do not want to uh, yeah, destroy any prefab stuff. Um, so and then we get into the point light again. And we create or paste in the word transform. Nice. Um, this is pretty cool. So every box now is getting uh, yeah, lighted up. Nice. This is really, really cool. We want to make sure that the um, light is getting, uh, yeah, getting um, deleted or uh, yeah, disabled. Um, if it's already open, the same for the particle system. So we just get in the particle system. I hope this is working without the main module. So let's just say these are the treasure particles and the other one is the treasure light. There we go. And then we want to make sure um, treasure light enabled equals false and the treasure particles Enabled. Oops. Particles dot. Mm. Let's take the game object and deactivate this. Um, and to stay, to just stay the same. Um, we also do it with the treasure light. Um, that there's a bit of structure in the code uh, <laughs> even if the code uh, yeah <laughs> is a chaos uh, in the meanwhile um, but it's uh, avail available for free on my github account so um, yeah if you do want to dig around then please uh, yeah check the video description and you'll find the free github code for this project um, so you can uh, yeah, just check it out uh, yourself. And yeah. 
So again, let's just try it. We go there and press E and this is working nicely. Cool. So let's just also destroy this one. <laughs> yeah, making making a bit of fun actually right now. Um and it kind of seems like a like a, a normal video game to be honest. Uh Yeah. <laughs> of course some things are not working correctly like the walk in animation um because I have a blending tree right there that is it is working if you shoot and walk, that this is working. Um, but you see, if it's working now, the whole animation stuff is not really, 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 really working. Mm, yeah, but that's okay. Um, yeah. And also, we want to make sure that these um, yeah barrels or something like that will drop anything like uh, ammunition or something like that. Um, so we also want to make it kind of lootable i don't know what what are your thoughts about maybe you can write it in the comments and we can uh talk next time about that because i do not want to uh yeah create them so inflationary um that would be <laughs> kind of bad idea so that we have uh tons and tons of um ammunition mm, but i think a little bit of it should be there um yeah just yeah, just to make uh, the player feel a bit more impactful that the player can, yeah, destroy stuff and, uh, yeah, has a little bit of impact on the game world. I, I really, really dig that. Um, so, it, yeah, I think it's a nice idea. Um, yes. <laughs> so, that's the current game world with the lighting and the particles for the treasure chest i want to make sure also that the treasure chest has some kind of canvas uh, dropping up like uh, when you when you see uh um yeah when you see a, a weapon so let's make uh, sure that we yeah just say hey there's an action you can take um and a good idea for that would be something like um making the uh, weapon canvas um which is getting spawned or enabled um a prefab and then we can just um create that for every type of of uh um yeah info we can we, we want to want to provide to the player so let's go to the weapon and get anything about this canvas let's say this one prefab let's say this is a ui and then we can make a um, original prefab out of it and just say okay <laughs> we already got that wow i'm so <laughs> i'm so good uh yeah obviously you you see that we we already have that so let's just delete this mm. where did i take this from from the um Weapon scar, I think, yeah, and there it is missing. Wow, this was a pretty good idea. <laughs> I hope I didn't uh, destroy everything with this move. But there it is, again. So, but we want to make sure that this is... Yeah, in there. Nice. So let's test if the scar is also um it's also getting spawned. Yeah. I thought this would happen. Nice. Uh <laughs> easily easily um <laughs> destroyed the whole uh game with just one prefab error. Nice. But I think I will uh, fix that uh, without you guys because this is a uh, quite a boring error to fix. Uh, thank you really, really for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you do not want to miss any updates on this game challenge or on my main game, Asaria, which I'm making devlogs about on this channel, then please hit the subscribe button. And we see us tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.